Greetings everyone and welcome back to Humankind, where we are in the last stages of our war with Shen. And indeed, the battle for uh, Harappa. I imagine that's about it. Oh, there they go. They're taking their first turn. Again, as the attackers, they take the first turn each time. Now, uh, they may have actually brought in some reinforcements that I'm going to need to deal with. Ideally, before they manage to slay any of my units. Right, let's take you down. And let's apply a bit of damage there. Finish you off more than likely. Same there. there go. Now, we can probably survive an attack, but I'm going to draw you back. There is no reason to allow these units to perish. Right, there we go. Unfortunately, we can't attack again, sadly, uh, because it is move or attack with these units. Uh, I don't imagine you're going to really be able to stop anything from happening here. No, indeed not. Let us finish this fight. Go and you. And then you. This may be the end for you. Oh, you scallywag. It's clinging on by a last little bit there. Uh, at this point, may as well just end the turn. Or rather, end the round. Now, sadly, we don't counter attack as ranged units, but. And that is it. Harappa. Is ours. We did lose one swordsman, but we managed to kill seven swordsmen, two boarding vessels, one cavalry unit, one anti-cavalry, and six gun platforms, which is feels like quite a quite a loss, to be honest. Population loss. Harappa's population has fallen by one due to growth. Uh, same with Akkad, Harappa, and Harappa again. Hmm, interesting. Uh, they've triggered a migration. Twice it might have been the case. Yeah, they took three population there. That's actually quite impressive. And a new grievance Speak available. Pollute my mind with your I would love to demand that. Sadly, I cannot. I would love when this war ends so you have to fork over a couple of grand. But, you know, I will accept, the, accept things as they are, I suppose. All right, let's allow our units to continue moving. And then see how we can best manoeuvre you to get into another fight. Though, obviously, we're not going to be able to get down here and actually get into this fight in time. And that is quite a sadness. Our entire army here was, was invested in that siege. So none of them have any more movement points, sadly. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. And we're probably going to merge these at this point. I don't really feel that our enemies are going to explore more rapidly than us, so we might as well go for a little bit of extra extra safety with our ships here by stacking them up. Just so they don't necessarily have to bail out of a fight if it comes their way. Alright, as for you, may as well move the rest of the way down. I mean, I could sack some, some uh, resources. Oh, there is actually a little bit of a fight that we could get into there. I doubt we're going to need it. Oh, they've entered the early modern era with Edo Japanese. Okay. Very well. Uh, Mutiny in Harappa, or, or close to it. Darth Raptor, Poke Dragon, and Kura have all gained a population. Oh, it's Kura. Ah, that would be you. You haven't yet been uh, Welcome. absorbed. What do you seek? The Dutch claimed the territory containing the Great Barrier Reef. Well, that is just rude. I may have to deal with that at some point. But, I mean, it is actually on your border, so perhaps a little bit less rude than some things. Uh, access to our ambergris was purchased by the Dutch. I do find it amusing that I can m control an area momentarily, and bunches of people will suddenly start purchasing access to those various uh, resources. But there we are. All right, we've got a couple of things to have a look at. We've got a bunch of armies over here, and I'm going to leave them there for the, now. But, Shen, it is time for you to hand over. Oh, we're automatically going to get some of this. It looks like our grievances are automatic. That is kind of 
impressive. Okay. Um, we've got a lot of war score here. We can actually afford to vassalize Shen in one go. Wow. I was not expecting that. So we're taking this, we're taking this. And Alia as well is, is being given to us. Let's uh, move up a little bit. So Alia there. They're converting to the Oak Brethren. I don't want to take this off you. I don't want to take any of these other areas that uh, were yours. A, a card, maybe. But uh, that we would have to grab a little bit more. Honestly, we could have even afforded to get a little bit more, more coin out of that. This is a better resolution than I could possibly have hoped for. Force of surrender. This is wondrous. Friend, come share a glass. Such dreams I had. Yet now I must surrender. Well, at least you are you are dignified in your defeat. Well done. Okay, so we've now gained access to all of these potential resources. We go have a look there. Uh, I I don't need to buy it off you. I straight up got it. That is amazing. I had no so, well, idea this we'd be able to do that. Be an ally or an enemy, a barrier or a blessing. Their future may not be in their hands. I wouldn't have minded taking this from you as well, but I guess I'll allow it to sit there for now. This is very much disconnected now, though. Very much disconnected. I'm not sure how long that's going to hang around. Interesting, but that is that is beyond what we could have hoped for. We just, uh, well, actually, Birdman just crested Shen in in second place. Both of them just gained some fame, but I had absolutely no expectation that we were going to be able to completely and who are vassalize they? Shen in Time one go. will tell if they are helpful, helpless, or history. Okay, well, first and foremost, let's start adding these lands. Uh, Alaya, you are going to be attached to Manu. For a, a decent amount of catch, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, next up, I think we're going to attach you to Darth Raptor. There we go. We have now gained our Era Star as well. And finally, so will you be attached to Darth Raptor as well. There we go. And that has enormously expanded our area of control. Absolutely fantastic move. We have gained so much land and a few new resources to boot. We've now got obsidian that we may be able to upgrade. Uh, I uh, Well, I'd probably be a little bit surprised if I can upgrade that, actually. But we have also gained a couple of holy sites. That is fantastic. So much better of a of a result than I could have even hoped for. Okay, let's have a let's have a quick look at how this has affected things. In terms of culture, we're now absorbing Shen completely because all of Shen's cultural output is now pushing our cultural influence instead. So will this independent people be an ally or an enemy? A barrier or a blessing? As for religion, um well actually they were their religion is gone now. There is no way that it's pushing their religion because we have converted them. As a consequence, yeah, they're just going to convert over. Uh, we are slowly swallowing the rest of the world with our religion and beh not far behind it will be our culture. Now that we've absorbed a very powerful and culturally significant ally, we are going to be able to push our influence very, very uh, aggressively at this point. Okay. I'm, I feel that this is where the snowballing really, really starts to kick in. This, I wonder about. I do I do wonder what we could perhaps do with that. Uh, treaties, there's nothing really we can do there. I'm not going to grant you freedom, but I wouldn't mind having this. No information. Perhaps we should have just gone up there. And, and now we actually know that if you, if you sack an area, you do keep the districts. Or at least to some degree you do. Only certain buildings get completely wiped out. 
but uh, we might want to bear that in mind in the future. Right. Well, I would love it if I could attach you. There we go. Again, rather expensive. But overall, we have just expanded our, our control enormously across the world. If we can grab that at some point, that would be fantastic. I wouldn't mind taking these so that we've got the salt pizza there. And whatever that's... Oh, actually, that's strategic resources already ours. But uh, grabbing that salt pizza and the obsidian would be nice, as we would be able to then develop the obsidian, I would imagine. But okay. That was a pretty fantastic opening to this to this episode. Uh, let's spread our units out a little bit more. There you go. You can move now and garrison. Do we even have a garrison point down here? I don't think we do. So given that, then, let's uh, start... Well, actually, you know, Darth Raptor, how about you give me a fort down there, then? Uh, somewhere up here would be fine. Let's pop that down. You can go and sit on this tile, because I will have that reinforced eventually. The rest of you absolutely need to heal. Oh my lord, do you need to heal. Right, as for you, though, let's get in here and start claiming more territory. Um, we could just go for the food. Uh, could have a little bit of a, a joint there. But I think trying to place down a... An area here would be the better one for us. It's gonna gonna be much more food coming in from the from the river there. I think. Let's go and get that set up as quickly as we can. As for you, also go ahead and uh, wait there. You as well. All right. We've now got an awful lot of doors open to us, so it's gonna take a, a couple of turns for us to really start getting back on top of things. But that was. An amazing couple of turns there. We're almost back to our coast. Now, in terms of the, the pressure, we're going to have converted most of these in just a few turns. The Edo Japanese are actually converting... Well, I guess it's their own, their own area. And once we've fully converted these, then we'll be able to start applying that pressure to other areas. But we'll, we'll see how this one goes for now. All right. Let's check in on our ships. We don't really need you to do too much at this point. I think it would be best for you to actually kind of just hang tight around here and just guard. We're more than if we do go to another war, it'll be against Birdman. And again, just to curtail any possibility that they might be able to gain enough fame to win. Flintlock has been researched. That also means we've now got access to the Man of War. And finally, bastions as well. Projecting parts of a fortification, bastions are an evolution of the city wall, allowing defensive fire in several directions. Plus fortification. There we go. One of the science stars unlocked. That is gorgeous. We're quite close to the agrarian star, very close to the expansion star, and actually not that far off the uh, third science star as well. We're reasonably close to getting the first merchant star. And, well, actually, yeah, I imagine we're going to have a star in everything before we leave this era. Very much imagine that. All right. The meaning of art. The new playhouse is a triumph, finally bringing the work of your most brilliant playwrights to a much wider audience. With your city's now major cultural forces, art has become a mainstay of the enlightened of enlightened conversation. Given its ideological influence, you must now settle the question of who controls the artistic world, or rather, artistic world. Academic artists, truth, beauty, virtue, only the finest minds can recognize true art. This would move us away from having extra food. Or independent artists. The creative fire exists in each and every one of us. This would push us ever more towards liberty. This would give us ac access to the Academy of Arts, plus one inf um, influence on research quarters. Ooh. That would be very powerful for us. Or the Artist Studio, plus one influence on commons quarters. Of This would give us the most bang for buck, I feel. Very much so, actually. However... 
for for role play reasons we're going with. I this suppose one. the act of creation is itself a bit anarchic. Why not take that to its logical conclusion? Indeed. Right, we're now producing 661 influence per turn and 977 gold per turn. There, we can pass a turn. So I'll go straight down and grab the next one. It does look like uh, there are a lot of available curiosities for us to, to have a look at out here. Now, I don't know if these respawn over time, and if they do, what governs that? Osmosis event? Please, no. Ugh. No. Well, actually, maybe we should have a look. Plus three faith on territory. Do we really need it at this point? Yes, I, I would like to continue pushing our faith for now. I am going to refuse. Will I convert to a new religion? Many new religions. And a lot of new armies that need an update. Okay, now this is going to probably be quite expensive. Yes, it is. Uh, but it goes from a 41 with a range of 4 and a movement of 4 to a 46 with a range of 4 and a movement of 4. Uh, it is more or less the same unit, though. I don't see any particular benefits to it. Now let's upgrade one and just see. Oh, they cost the same, more or less. I don't particularly see... Oh, okay, well, it, it's an extra 7 strength, I guess. Still, I'm not going to go out of my way to upgrade them. I will upgrade the ones that actually have veterancy, but I don't feel that we really need to worry over much about that one. Well, with that done, let's uh, start exploring the next area. And, of course... Attach for... Well, we can't afford to. Okay, fair enough. We'll wait a little bit then. But we should be able to get that all of that hooked up soon. Now, you definitely are going to deserve an upgrade. Uh, I'm going to have you hold steady there. Poke Dragon. let's see what we can get built. Uh, we need... Another few of these. Let's have a quick gander. How many do we need? We need... That's Sage. Got to, we've got to exploit at least three of six. We've currently got two. This will be another two. That'll be three. So we need one more Saffron to be able to push that one. I'm sure we'll be able to find it. They've got Saffron there. Perhaps I should purchase it from them. There we go. That gives us everything we need to be able to manage that. But we will need to head up there and, and grab that one as well. But for now, let's have a look. Let's get a bit more influence. Are we actually generating much science? We are generating a decent amount of science, to be fair. Uh, so let's go ahead and absolutely double down on that. We, we've got, we've had a big war, and that was a period for developing our infrastructure. As each star has been earned, population gained. There we go. And we connect you now. Still just just shy. That's fine. Actually, move along the river, since you're now on the river. Might as well make uh, make use of that. Oh my lord. That is an awful lot of materials there. Okay, another carcass. Uh, I'm going to just make sure... Yes, we're going to be researching siege cannons after this. But... Will we be able to push into the industrial? We can push into the industrial. Hmm. Interesting. I wasn't aware that you could actually push into another area until you actually entered that area. But all right. I'm down with that. Uh, we could grab military school, howitzer. We could take the academy, plus two science on research quarters, per adjacent research quarter, and plus four science on research quarters. Also, Labour Charter prevents population from being consumed in order to complete a construction instantly and improved purchase of civics. 
And very soon, we can actually look at getting coal. And that will be an enormous, enormous, uh, of enormous importance to us. Right, you can go ahead and just station here for now. As for you, there's a tiny bit left for you to explore. Let's get up there. Right, Darth Raptor, finally. Uh, let's focus... Ooh, actually, let's focus on Mercury. Where can we place you? Right down there. Perfect. Further to that, we will then focus on Obsidian. Place that down there. And then, finally, we'll start dumping more into science. There we are. Look at that beautiful amount of science. An amazing amount of it. Darth Raptor has actually become a very, very powerful area. And we may as well grab everything we can with this. That man of war is uh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic looking. Uh, we've got more than enough stability. I don't think anywhere we've got right now has a lack of stability. No. Okay. We're cleaning up at this point. Book of Dragon is increased in population. Mercantilism. Uh, I think it's mercantilism. Research a zero-sum trade system. This maximizes a nation's exports at the expense of other nations and one's colonies. Well, hmm. About that. Oh, uh, well. Uh, right. The Defiant Canvas. With cultural venues flourishing across the Empire, a famous painter has been criticizing your rule obliquely through their work. Based in the cosmopolitan city of Poker Dragon, their latest piece depicts a gluttonous, saggy-fleshed giant snacking on a platter of sugared cakes, and they are gaining much public attention. What is your response? Prohibit. A blanket ban on political artwork uh, will make a strong statement, but could provoke unrest or encourage. The edge of the artist's censure can be blunted by seeming pleased. Very well, go ahead. Uh, right, let's get... Uh, no, we're not going to grab you just yet. I am instead going to uh, uh, attach this territory first. There we go. And now that we've got that, we can have a look at plonking down a couple of important districts. There we go. Now we can start paying attention to you. And upgrading those we can afford to. It's going to take some time, but it'll be worth it. Uh, same for you. You can just hold ground there. Now, let's have a look at what we've got over here. Got some more copper. This is actually quite a nice area here. Opens up on that side. Uh, we can get up there. Uh, but at this point, we've seen everything there is to see here. So where are we going to plonk this down? Uh, we're going to need the more the the money before we can actually see the best places that are, that are available to us to to place that. Though I would actually like to to be up Advancing here as well, just to see what's on that point. But we are expanding out rather quickly, and Pocket Dragon has got a lot of uh, attached territories now. Maybe worth us placing a new city over here to start a further expansion because it is expensive to expand out at this point. Darth Raptor's gained a population, and the Agrarian Star has been, been earned. But, uh, for Malas, uh, for, uh, for, for Malsamaka, for Malsamaka, I hope, <laughs> my lord, uh, look, I, I, I give it my honest best attempt. That's got to be worth something. I know I butcher names so badly, but I'm genuinely trying to, to say them the way I think they're meant to be said. Uh, there we go. And new grievance available. I would not put myself in this mm. position if I feared the consequences. Well, I mean, I could just yoink these areas, you know. Would not be difficult. I wonder what will happen here. Because it's completely disconnected from the rest of his empire. Normally you can't do that. It's an interesting situation to find them in. Uh, let's con- ooh. Well, now. That's different. That's very different. We can upgrade swordsmen into musketeers. 
That is a very different uh, upgrade path and absolutely worth doing, no less. All right. Uh, well, for now, let's go ahead and have you station for the time being. We're so close to a merchant star. Um, there we go. Merchant star attained. Manor's population has increased. Some more areas have converted to our religion. Now then, with this in mind, where do we want to settle? That does seem as good a place as any. Let's get in there and claim this territory. I think we will attach this one to Poker Dragon. Perhaps. Otherwise, this, this kind of stretches out in a weird way. Whereas I think having this be the uh, domain of another city would make sense. There'll be enormous cities, but well worth having, I think. All hands to stations. There you go. And then make your way over there if you could. Right. Manu. Let's finish off here. The manufactory. Actually, make the manufactory first. As that is going to massively increase your industrial output. Like, just stupid amounts, in fact. And with that, we could increase the food. <laughs> it seems scarcely worth it, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, at this point, that seems scarcely worth it. The Man of War is very powerful compared to our emblematic unit. But this does have increased movement speed in battle and has bonus combat strength against adjacent targets. Mm -hmm. But is it enough to outperform a near 10 point difference? I doubt it. This one requires a little bit more copper to make as well. But I, I somehow doubt that that would actually be as potent. I would like. Right, we need to find a new area for a science focus. And I'm feeling down here would be plenty good enough. We could expand out here and have a new emblematic district right in the middle right there. Uh, that being said, we could do the same over here. We'd lose a little bit, but we wouldn't lose any heavily developed areas already. I think I think they would be the best one. To get that, though, I am going to have to place down this to develop that tiles that I can build on it, I think. Well, actually, that being said, no, we probably don't need to. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just start by placing these. There we go. Once those are on the roll, we will then place down our emblematic district right there. That being said, you're already generating a large amount. Do you count as an embl as a science district? I'm not sure you do. Maybe you do. No, there's no adjacency bonus there, so it won't matter. That's fine. Right, enter. Siege cannons have finally been researched. Will we end the day friends or foes? I'm starting to wonder. Truly I am. I mean, I don't want to go into another war, but it would be a very swift one. Just holding these two cities would be enough for us. Because I very much doubt that they would be able to actually field any units against us to take them back. Or to cause us any any kind of, of trouble at all, honestly. And it might, if we've claimed two of their three cities, be enough for us to vassalize them even across the waters. And then we could just vassalize... Ooh. That might be the play. Still, it's quite an aggressive move. And I'm not yet ready for that. I don't think. Another expansion star. We've now got four gold stars. We need five researchers to get the science gold star. And there's really no reason for me to push 
out of this era just yet. Um, especially considering the Science Gold Star gives us so much. We are very great distance away from the next Merchant or Aesthete Stars, but this one's only four, uh, five technologies away. And we are researching reasonably fast. Granted, we are now moving into an area where research is going to slow. Uh, the Howitzer Military School... Scientific method. Minus 20% research quarter industry cost. That's quite nice. Getting line formation. We can certainly have a look into that. That's one, two, three, four. And let's find out. Nature reserve would be nice. It exploits everything. Customs agency. Conscripts. Fertilizer plant. That would actually be amazing. Uh, I think we're going to go for the scientific method, though. Uh, we will come down to Nationhood, but it'll be a little little while away. Okay. We've laid out our plans once we've got that science star. Or, if Shen looks to be gaining enough stars to push into the next into the next area, then I'll, I'll move and try and quash that. Did we just get... We did. Very well. I knew you did. I accept. Right, well now, with that done, we can actually start exploring a little bit more. Rather than uh, just grabbing land whenever we see it. Uh, we've got a few native peoples over here, so... Let's, let's find out where we want to settle and start a city before we do anything else, and before we make any plans to absorb. At this stage... If I wanted to, in one turn, I could absorb this city entirely into my empire. And maybe that's my, maybe that's the play. And then just start expanding out new, new outposts from there. It'd be an interesting move, certainly. Especially as once we've taken that and this, we would then have all of the saffron that we need. Hmm. I could, in fact, if I wanted to, detach these and add them into the new city here. Might be worth it, actually. I'll consider it. Stay together. Move it. Right. Is there much fog of war left? Not really. Tiny bit down there as well. And with that, we've largely removed all the fog of war off the map. There's a little bit here and there, but not terribly much. Uh, at this point, I think I'm going to have you just move down to this dock. There's every likelihood that this is the next theatre of war will be naval and moving across this island, so I'm going to allow our ships to build up a little bit before we push there. Darth Raptor. Let's have a look. Uh, first and foremost, I would like a manufacturing. Let's get that one going. It's now going to become important for me to get mortars. And as I am waiting for some more units down there, I might as well do that. So let's get one, two, and... You know what? Sure. We'll get three mortar units added to that army. And possibly a another musketeer. That would actually give us quite quite a force with which to punch a hole in these defenses. Now again, I don't actually want these these to be cities. I would much rather them be outposts, so we will break through and then sack the city before moving on to the next. Poker Dragon just gained a population point. Access to your saffron was purchased by the Dutch for 108. Wow, that's actually quite a lot. And we've discovered a new area, really. I don't think we did. But very well. Uh, with that, got a couple of armies that need to decide what they're doing. Uh, that's fine. Let's let's move around them. Let's let's not cause war. Moving heavy weaponry. There's no need to. There we go. Now, in this area, where would we most likely want to place? 
Uh, probably still along the river if we can. Being said, there's an enormous amount of industry available over here. Uh, but I feel that a that a, a position somewhere around here would be fine. If we can get in there and build that on the river, that would be perfect. As for you, you can now station for a bit. Neo Stars gained a population. Attitude with Maya have changed. You have something They're to now say. afraid. They're worried about your obvious strength and are more likely to cave to your demands. Marvellous. I mean, oh, it's a shame. I, I'm, I'm really quite sweet when you get to know me. Uh, there we go. I will purchase your resources, though, now that you've gained access to some new ones. Thank you. We've also got a new grievance. Greetings, Sovereign. Well... Are you with me? Or against me? That is... That is an issue. That is actually an issue. Okay. I wasn't planning to go to war with you... This soon. But... And you know what? I'm still not going to. I'm going to grab this area... We're going to absorb... Well, this changes my plans. We're not easily going to be able to expand out now. So I'm going to absorb these into Poke Dragon. Poke Dragon is going to become my largest city by far. Alright. That is a bit of a pain. I hadn't expected that. Hartak and Weevils. The Empire's naval strength grows greater every year, with our ships exploring the most distant seas and making famous discoveries. When a merchant vessel arrived back in the sea trade port of Manu, however, a horrifying spectacle came to light. Long months at sea led to the majority of the crew being afflicted with scurvy. Its cause is unknown, but its effects are devastating. Loose gums are followed by blotchy skin, then lethargy and death. Now the reality of life at sea is in danger of spreading and needs to be addressed. What is your response? Overhaul. All ships will be overhauled to make them faster and shorten the length of long ocean journeys. Or suppress. The affected sailors will be kept isolated in an infirmary, so the news stays secret. Hopefully. Or experiment. Only genuine alchemical investigation gives a chance of revealing the true cause and prevention of scurvy. Science investing on four cities. High chance of good consequences. We will accept this. Please be good. Oh no, I'm building in the wrong place. Why? Ah, oh, Scallywag. I, I thought I told you. Two sand units down there. Apparently I did not. Very well. Let's get you over there. Go on. Got a long trip. Uh, can I, can I make sure that, that is actually selected though? There we go. Please send the rest of them down there. Damn it. All right. Time for us to go ahead and, well, first and foremost, you can go and grab that. Secondly, I'm going to absorb this for a rather princely sum. Thirdly, we will take you next turn. Then we're going to have to get our army over there, sack it, and then replant an outpost there. That shouldn't be too... Too difficult for us to do. Uh, Poke Dragon, what can we build in the meanwhile? Uh, we should be able to get these on the go. There we are. And strategic resources as well. The copper would be very nice and welcomed. And finally... Sure. Let's pop that down there. Okay. Not a, little, not a bad turn of events, all things considered. A resource sold. Uh, what's happened here? Oh. Okay. I have a proposal for you. Very well. What is the proposal? A good idea. I refuse. From a good friend. You're not getting access to my to my strategic resources. I don't need access to yours. At this point, I'm going to leverage the fact that I control the vast majority of all the resources, such that I don't need to trade. Darth Raptor. 
Uh, let's get the Academy on the go. That's going to be amazing for Darth Raptor. Absolutely staggeringly good. Is there anywhere else that would get a particular bonus from having this built? Uh, a few places, actually. Uh, they're, not, they're not the most useful, but those areas aren't the, the most needed. So I could build academies over there. Uh, this one, a little bit less less uh, functional for us, but we can try. Um, do we need food or do we need industry more? I would say we need industry, uh, sorry, food more. And then with that done, we'll build another science outpost right there. Right, time for us to go and uh, grab you. You have assimilated an independent people. Every culture, greater or lesser, is a building block in a civilization. Very true indeed. We've destroyed a bunch of trade routes because we now own the, the resource. That's an odd way of putting it, but sure. Now, interestingly, would I simply be able to absorb you? 97k. It would take me 10 turns to just absorb that city. And it's, it hasn't got enough of a population to make it worth me doing. If this was a city that had, you know, 10, 20 population, then it would become increasingly worthwhile. But as it stands, no. So, let's have the armies join together. And promptly sack. One turn. So when trade route is used by one of your tr uh, one of your trade routes, right? Second, it will raise this trade route. Are you sure? Fallen Empires will have a grievance against you. It really doesn't matter. It's fine. Wasn't actually what I was aiming to destroy them, but sure. Uh, it'll take me a, a turn to get that all sorted. Uh, in the meanwhile, um, let us have a festival for the proper unification of the Empire. This shall be turned into a uh, into a holiday that the Empire will recognize from henceforth. And we promptly want to attach that over here. It's going to cost me <laughs> another turn's worth of, of uh, investment, but that's fine. It is very nice to have inherited a new army, though. I do need to upgrade parts of it. I know, I know, I've just slowed down attaching that, but it's, it's going to take a, a few turns for it to build up anyway. Right, Manu. Let's get a Science Academy there. And following that, I would actually like to build a few Man of War. Uh, let's get back three. Carbine is researched. Power is often wielded at the end of a gun. Uh, one hopes that improved barrels might lead to increased power. Well, the Dagoons... Now this, they can move and fire. That is a potent one. Requires three strategic war, uh, resources of horses, though. Sold our salt and ebony. All right, let's have a look. We're still very well ahead. We are now only three technology away from gaining the final star before we move to the next the next era. Alright, now then, let's have a quick look through here. We've got a lot of things that we can build up on. Industry might as well. Uh, science is actually, you know, not too bad here, to be fair. Uh, but before we really start investing in that, I would like to get a bit more in terms of our development in that regard. Uh, over here would be amazing because of the science bonuses there. Sure. We'll place that down, and we will then double down on that, in fact, and get a science quarter here. There we go. That will actually work out quite quite wonderfully for Poke Dragon. Okay. And allow our units to move around. A little bit more culture. 
oh, I say culture. <laughs> I'm so used to that color signifying culture from Civ. Uh, that, is the, that is the primary reason why I keep saying culture instead of influence. Uh, right, finally, let's get you connected. There we are. Perfect. Right, how much would it cost for you to upgrade? Oh my lord, that costs a lot. I guess it does very heavily upgrade you. Still, wow. Absolutely wow. Right, with that, let's have a quick look at uh, our cultural spread. Uh, we are converting here in nine turns. And yeah, th this is the power of taking over the second place player. Because they have so much cultural influence. That is now just pushing everywhere. There is... <laughs> This is just just a tiny little 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 island off to the side, just doing its own thing. One day, I'm sure they're going to request independence. And damn it, if they get to that point, I'm gonna grant it to them. Well done, you beautiful people. Keep living your best lives. I mean, of course, if you, you know, if you request independence, you get it. If you demand independence, well, there yeah, that might result in a different kind of response. Still, I hope you foster a wonderful culture of on that island. Marvellous place as it is. Uh, Alkid, there we go. We should now be able to uh, attach these. And clonk. There we go. Marvellous. Absolutely fantastic. Poke Dragon is now a very potent city. That it's, it easily controls the most landmass of all of my cities. Uh, if Darth Raptor absorbed Eelstar, then maybe that would uh, that would balance out a little bit more. But not even I'm not even sure at that point. But this does mean that we've got one more city available. So <laughs> once we can, we'll just swoop through and take out all of these and attach them into a new city on that coast. And at that point, we will control for the most part two continents. I do need to deal with you. You're going to be a little bit of a thorn in my side until I do. Yes. Uh, have we got any upgrades for our ships? We don't, but that's fine for now, I suppose. Uh, our military units, I could swoop over and take this city if I wanted to. Uh, such that we would be able to then force their vassalization a little bit easier. Still, I think it's probably going to be better to take take uh, these two cities. If so I let's have a look. Teach you wisdom, I will teach you regret. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, I'm going to make this demand. Different states original original reparation is no longer possible. The Edo Japanese must now pay you one thousand two hundred eighty. This grievance will expire in nine. Uh, demand. And did they just go to war? We have suddenly got a ridiculous amount of... Uh... <laughs> okay, so they've stopped a lot of my trade agreements. Which I can now really push them for. Six grievances just got triggered. We will be able to go to war next turn. That happened... Shockingly, terrifyingly quickly. My goodness. So they've blocked an enormous amount of my trade routes. I am going to straight up refuse their demands. No. We all do things we regret. I'm strong enough to apologize. Well, I mean, that... that it's too late now. So nice when things are good for me and bad for you. Why am I a thief? While having this badge, this emperor is ransacking armies, earn more money, defined by the level of the badge. Oh, it's probably because we've ransacked cities. That that makes sense. We're going to continue to do this. Oh, actually, it's more likely because we've ransacked trade routes specifically. Okay, so... Next turn, war is a brewing. Is there anything I want to upgrade this turn? Uh, nothing I can afford to upgrade this turn, actually. Uh, but we will probably try to get some of my cavalry upgraded 
ready for the next episode because once again looking at the time we have run out but i hope you've enjoyed this episode it was a bit more of a uh, build-up episode than i was uh, really expecting we've gained so much territory for poke dragon poke dragon is now probably one of the the more important cities in the empire um i am tempted to have man who absorbed arthraptor at some point might be an interesting one to see what would happen with that we are definitely not going to use the the means of just crushing Darth Raptor and ransacking it and then putting an outpost and then joining them all up. Because I'd have to join all of these outposts for an enormous amount of money and I'd lose 78 people. No, that's not going to happen. But uh, we will see how it goes. In fact, let's uh, just have a very quick check. It would actually only cost me 32k. That's really not that much. Huh. I think that may well be on the cards. But nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>